This lesson is going to cover the OSI model, the Open Systems Interconnection Model. This model was developed by the International Organization for Standardization. This is an organization that establishes best practices and recommendations that are adopted globally. And in this particular case, the model is designed to establish a single and common network stack for every application on a computer system so that each application can share this one path out to the network. The OSI model is divided into seven layers to allow for a highly specialized grouping and focus on the different functions that occur at these seven layers. As the information that a user of a computer is trying to send across the network, as this information is organized and prepared so that it can commute across essentially any sort of network that we might utilize in a corporate environment or in the home environment. So again, the goal of this model is to establish a single and common network stack within the network operating system so that all applications can use that network. These seven layers are numbered from the bottom layer to the top layer. Bottom layer being number one, top layer being number seven, and they follow this order. Physical, data link, network, transport, session, presentation, and application layer. As you see to the right-hand side of this network stack shown on the slide, the top three layers, the information remains in a data stream. And then at layer four of the OSI model, the transport layer, we take that data stream and we break it up into segments. And that's where we begin to establish the headers for each segment. So at layer four, we would have the payload, which is the actual part of the data file that the user is trying to send over the network. So we break that up into small chunks called segments, and then we add in front of that payload or segment the information in the headers for the layer 7, 6, 5, and 4 headers. At layer 3 of the OSI model, we add yet another header, and this now becomes a packet or datagram at the network layer. As this information flows down through the stack, we reach layer 2 where we complete the frame where all binary bits are lined up in the proper order, complete with all layer two through seven header information and a CRC trailer. And this is also where the computer or the node senses the network media and determines whether or not it's safe to begin transmission of this information out onto the network media. Now at layer one, this is where the information is communicated as binary bits from the network interface card out into the actual network media itself. The order of these layers is important for you to understand, to memorize, especially if you're taking any sort of certifications. This is one of those classic models that almost every IT certification gets involved with to some extent. So as we move from the bottom to the top, we've built this mnemonic, this tool to help you memorize these layers. Please do not throw sausage pizza away represents the P for physical, the D for data link, N for network, T for transport, S for session, P for presentation, and A for application. Here we see a user on the left hand side who is using a computer and applications and in the use of one of his applications he desires to send a file from his computer to some other computer or node across the corporate network. As we can see, the information that the user on the left is trying to communicate to the user on the right has to pass down through this network stack in his computer. This is actually part of the network operating system. And at each layer of the OSI model, we process the information that is being transmitted from sender to receiver from source to destination and we process it in a different manner depending on the nature of the network and whether or not we're encrypting and compressing and who that remote node is, the capability of that remote node. So a whole lot of information has to be aggregated as we begin to prepare this information for its transmission across the network media to the recipient or destination. 
So the information flows down through the network stack, down through the OSI model, and when we get it all completely prepared and ready to go out onto the network media, we are transmitting binary ones and zeros using a technique called modulation and encoding, and we transmit it over to the destination. At the recipient side, the right-hand side, we then have to undo every change we made to the information that we sent across the network. We have to undo it so that we can put that information back to its original state, back in its original form, so that the recipient on the right can actually see the same exact data that the sender on the left actually and originally sent. Layer 7 of the OSI model is the application layer. The application layer is considered to be the most intelligent layer and also the most abstract layer. And we say abstract relative to the physical layer. So this is most abstract from physical reality. In other words, think of the application layer as the receiving hands of all data that the applications up above are sending out to the network. Now, applications don't live at the application layer. This is simply the receiving hands for applications up above to get towards the network stack. We should also take a look at the protocols that operate here at layer seven. One of them I want to point out is DNS, the domain name system, because this function of name resolution happens here when we first identify who it is, what node it is, that we're going to transmit this data to on the remote endpoint. So again, layer seven, the most abstract, the most intelligent, and the receiving hands for all the data as it moves towards the network stack. The next layer down is the presentation layer. Now think of this layer being the layer that converts the information that's coming down from the applications into a format that is compatible with the network that we're gonna be sending this data across. So here we're going to do things like encryption and compression, but we must convert this data from whatever format it's in into a format that is suitable for the network. Once again, if you would notice some of the protocols that operate here at layer six of the OSI model, the presentation layer. Now we're gonna take a break here as we march through the OSI model and we'll pick up where we left off on the next video.